so today I'm going to show you guys how to spice up your videos a little bit in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you two different ways to do some tracking. This way you can have something like this. Or if you got a logo or something, you can do something like this. Now it's real simple. I'm not gonna make it complicated at all. I'm gonna do this as quick as I can just to show you guys how to do it. I'm not gonna go into any real detail. Again, we're gonna keep it simple, keep it easy. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start with the logo first and we're gonna put it on this mount. So what we're gonna do is, is we've got a clip sitting here in the timeline. We're gonna go down here to the fusion tab. Now, I know the fusion can be a little bit intimidating, but trust me, it's not as bad as it looks. Once you get used to it, just don't be scared of it. It's all right. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we gotta get a tracker right here. So we're gonna hold down the shift key, hit the space bar, and we're gonna type in here, track. Now for this one, we need a planar tracker. For the next one we'll do will be the, just the regular one. But for this one, we need the planar tracker. So we click add and it drops it in here. Now what you'll notice is, is that it turned our cursor into a, a uh, some crosshairs here. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can see. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some points. We'll put one here and we're gonna make a box. Here, here, here. the back of the all right so we've got our box looks good so once we get our box drawn up here what we want to do is we want to come over here and we want to hit set all right and all that's going to do is set the frame we're at frame zero so that's what we're going to do and then we want to come over to this button over here and just track it and it's going to create a bunch of tracking points inside there Looks something really, really cool. And we'll just let this track out for a second. And good. And now it's done tracking. And as you can see, it's tracked there. All right, so I'm just gonna go back to the beginning. So I wanna be able to put a logo on this. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna come up here to where it says operation mode and change that track to corner pin. Now here's where it gets weird for me guys. I have no idea why it does this. Um, I don't really understand the ins and outs of what is actually going on here. I just know that, you know, now we have to grab uh, these points and, uh -oh, and kind of put them, you know, and put them back where we started. From. Like, I don't know why it does this. I really don't. But we just kind of put that there. All right, and then it's back. We'll zoom back out. All right, so it, it did that. I don't know what's up with that, but all right, we put it back. So now I need to go over here and I need to grab my logo and I'm gonna drop it in there. Let's get this back out the way. And now I'm gonna take the output of the logo and drag it, drag it onto the tracker. And when we do that, we see we get the logo up here now so i need to make this bigger but i can't do it in the inspector like we did with the text so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to do shift space and i'm gonna have to add a transform node here then once i do that i can come in here and change the size of it make it bigger uh, you know and kind of put it Yeah, I'm not gonna make this one too good. But once you do that, and that's it. Now, I will say that the planar tracker is a little bit more system intensive. 
so playback is going to be a little splotchy. Um, so, you know, if you don't have an up to par system, just be, be ready for that. But as you can see, um, now we have the logo attached to the mount. All right, guys, I had some technical difficulties. Um, so for this one, it's just gonna be me on voiceover. And to be perfectly honest, the technical difficulty was I do not have any charge batteries for my camera. So instead of just waiting for them to charge, I'm just gonna do it this way. All right, so, and this one is the point tracker. Um, I have a clip here of a race car. It has some pretty fast movement, so I figured it would be good. The only issue with this clip is, is if you look toward the end here, the car gets a little blurry. So that part of it is gonna be hard for the tracker to stick. So I'm actually gonna trim this clip some and we'll cut it off about right in there. And at the beginning of it, I'm gonna start it uh, right when we can see the car from it, about right in there. And it's up, uh, all right, so right in there. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go down to the Fusion tab. And again, we have our media in and our media out. So for this, it's the same thing. We're gonna do Shift, Space Bar. We're gonna search the track. Now for this one, instead of the plan our tracker, we're just gonna do straight tracker. All right, so we're gonna add it. And now we get our tracking note. So if you look up in the window here, what you now get is this tracking point thing. Let me make this a little bit bigger um, so it can be seen. You're gonna get this, this tracking thing here. What you gotta do is you gotta take this and drag it to whatever you're gonna track. So I'm gonna put it on the car, uh, maybe somewhere, maybe on this red part. Here. We'll try it there. All right, now you just gotta adjust your boxes here. Now, listen, the boxes are um just just know that the center box is what it's tracking and then this outside box is other things that it's looking for i'm not going to go into big detail about it just adjust it so it's looking at whatever it is you're trying to track okay just just keep it simple right there all right so just like before uh we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to track uh, forward and what it's gonna do is it's gonna track the car boom tracking complete and so if we go back you can see it tracks the car now if you look right here it got a little wonky right here. that's okay that is okay all right no problem whatsoever. So let's just get it here. Let's grab our tracker again. And what you can do is, is you just move it to where it needs to be. We're gonna put it back there, all right? And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna make this box a little smaller. And then when you do that, when you have to make adjustments, instead of retracking everything, which in this case isn't that big of a deal because it's uh, the beginning of the clip, but if it was toward the end of the clip, you would click on this button and that is going to track it from the current place, right? So I'll just hit that. And like I said, because it was pretty much the beginning of the clip, you know, it's... it's it pretty much just retracted all. But as you can see, the tracker is in there and boom. Still got a little wonky, but I think it'll work. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna add some text to this, right? 
So click off of it. Make sure nothing is selected here because if it's selected and you click on the text, it's going to do something stupid. So make sure nothing is selected. Click on text and add a text. So here we're just going to do a uh, race car. And then we're going to connect the output of this node and just take it down to the track. Now, if you notice you still don't see anything, that's okay, don't panic. Click on your tracker node, and what you've got to do is go over here to operation, and where it says operation, change it from none to match move, and boom. Now you have your text, right? And it's there. Now you see, you know, there's a couple of places where it kind of jumps around a little bit, which, you know, it, not that big of a deal. But if you don't want it to do that, or if you want to try to clean that up, have on your tracking node and these buttons down here. I normally take off rotation and scale. And I leave position checked. And when I do that, it tends to kind of stay in place just a little bit better. Unless it just really gets great. Right. So now we can just click back on our text node here. We can change the font to, uh, you know, something pretty crazy. Then we change the shading to you know, a shadow. Enable that and boom. Now we can go back to our edit tab and play this. And now you have words that are tracked to your subject and this is just the easy way to do this guys um you know i always say like in this one just kind of play with it you know play with the sliders in there see what it does if you don't like it change it back you know it's no big deal but change it have fun with it. so i do apologize for the technical difficulties but we got through it so if you guys like this video, man, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not already, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.